Okay. I'm not a jabber. That's an improvement. What in the... What am I? Octavio? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Maybe I should go back to being a jabber. Oh, the sweet comfort of being a jabber. Stop! Get a hold of yourself, Anu. This is your consciousness. Exert control. Take charge. Demand. Demand. I'm going to demand. If you got a problem, say it to me. The big O. Yeah? Yep. I'm definitely Octavio. Your other half. That seems like a stretch. If he were my other half, wouldn't he understand me better? Understand you or reflect you? What's the difference? When we fused, the only thought in your mind was to save him. Of course. You were being selfish. What? No! How? Because without him, there'd be no one left who gets you. Where the heck have you been? You're supposed to be packed by now. Jeez. Do I really sound like that? I sound... I sound so overbearing, like an alarm with a broken snooze button. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going. What? I'm not going to Atlas with you. I heard you. I'm just trying to fathom how moronic you're acting. I wanted to talk to you about it. There's nothing to talk about. I'm giving you a golden ticket off this dumpster fire of a planet, and you're squandering it. Oof. That's harsh. Atlas is not my golden ticket. I knew it. You're too scared to leave the nest. Still aimlessly goofing around like a teenager. Do you remember what he said next? I don't know what you're still doing here. You don't even know what you're still doing here. I'm doing the best I can, one step at a time. Life isn't all planned out like one of your science recipes. That's the talk of a slacker. Whoa. And it's science equations, not recipes. <sighs> No wonder I don't remember what he said. I was too focused on convincing him that what I wanted was right for both of us. It caused a rift. Now isn't the time for debate. I bought your ticket. You're going. End of discussion. I'm not leaving everything because you get a fancy job at Atlas. It's the chance of a lifetime. Yeah, your lifetime. I have dreams of my own. Like what? I'm going to start a business. <laughs> I never took him seriously. Not even a little. <laughs> really? I have the work ethic, the street smarts, the connections. Wake up, Octavio. You're living a delusion. No! Okay. Look at this logically. You need some income, right? Now that I'm running my own lab, I can get you an entry-level job at Atlas. Most likely something in sanitation or food services. Maybe a secretary job, if you can answer calls like an adult. Why didn't he want to go with you, Anu? It's not the self-made businessman track, but it's better than you lying in a ditch. He stayed for countless more reasons than he had to leave with me. Namely, I didn't treat him the way he deserved to be treated. I treated him like a burden I had to carry. Sanitation? Food service? That's all you see from me? That's the highest I can aspire to in your mind. Screw that. I don't want your pity. The problem, Octavio, is that you don't know what you need. That's what I'm here for. Please, I don't want to see anymore. Why? Because what I did next broke us. This is my home! Fine! Stay here then. You belong with the trash. God, I am so embarrassed that you're my brother. 
There is nothing intelligent, ambitious, or worthwhile in you. I've wasted so much time and energy protecting you. For nothing. I'm done. After that, we always felt separated. You two can never undo that rift. Never unmake that harm. No. But we can still reach each other. Impossible. This is your past. Then I have to step outside the past and view it. Compassionately. <sighs> My mind. My rules. Let's bridge this divide.